we are realizing that each of us has choices. And sometimes when you look at the life of someone else, you can see just a little bit of what might inspire you to make a, maybe a different choice or a more happy choice. So that's what we're looking at today. This place called You Choose. Morning. 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 Okay, well, Trent Oglesby, he's a generally good-hearted guy, fun-loving, pretty young guy. He gets a little crazy sometimes, but he is pretty fun. He laughs loud, he parties hard. His crazy antics, they've caused many a head to shake. But today, he took it a little bit too far. You see, he, died, he decided, just for the fun of it, he was going to speed down a wet road. And since he was going way too fast, he hydroplaned, flipped the car, and flew into a ravine. And now, he's arriving in heaven. <laughs> wow. <laughs> that was awesome! Did you guys see that? I was flying! We did. God! We saw. And when I hit that water, woo! And then I knew I was gonna take off, so I just gunned it! We know, we know. God, and I flew! Man, I flew! I must have flipped that car over twice! In the air! <laughs> God, really? yeah. And when I hit the ground, it was almost like I didn't even feel anything. You know, I was always kind of afraid of dying, but that was awesome! <laughs> you're, yes, you're welcome. I took you out of your body before you hit the ground. I mean, it kind of felt like that. Like I just kept on flying. Oh yeah, thanks by the way. <laughs> what a life I've had. We know. Like, check this out. We, we know all about it. Well, one time, one time. Dude, me and my buddies were out climbing Mount Jasper, and there's this part, it's real dangerous. It's almost like local folklore that no one can climb it. So naturally, I got my stuff and headed up. So I'm up there, and I'm climbing, and I look down, and there's this crowd of people watching me, naturally. And I get to the steepest, straightest, most dangerous part. And my foot slips. I mean, it was a miracle I didn't die. <laughs> that was a miracle. That was me. <laughs> I grabbed your foot and held it so you could get a grip. But that wasn't the only time. Matt, you really kept me busy. I almost couldn't keep up with you. Now, that, that may well be true. It's true. It is true. But we're going to stay on track. It's time for your life review. Life review. Mm -hmm. Man, you know, I would really like to see that car wreck again. <laughs> Do you guys have like an instant replay or something up here? Because that would be awesome. No, no, it's time to focus. Now we're going to go into life review. So, in this life review, you have instant replay. <laughs> This is life review, not uh, death review. Yeah. Come on now. Look, we've got time. You know, we don't have, have time to look at everything, but we're going to look at a few things, okay? All right. Life review. I've done a lot of things. Yeah, we know. <laughs> Bring it on. All right, come on. Hey, am I going to see all the cool things I did? Because that would be sweet. <laughs> Maybe. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, yeah! I remember that! Wait, what? Are you kidding me? Oh no! I can't believe it! My whole life, I, I messed up! You know, I was having so much fun, I just don't understand how I could got off track. I mean, I thought I was doing the right thing. I was following my heart, and it was so much fun. 
How did I get so far off track? Well, you forgot why you went down. You just kept being crazy. We have got to get you back down there as soon as possible. <laughs> okay. Now that I know how to do things a little better, I will definitely do better when I go down this time. I promise. Hmm, it's not that easy. <laughs> Wait a minute. Uh, what do you mean it's not easy? Can't you just fix my body up and throw me back in? Okay. Did you see your body, bro? There is no fixing that. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, what do we do now then? We have got to deal with your issues. Issues? I don't have any issues. <laughs> oh, baby, you have plenty of issues. <laughs> and the ones that we have been working on for lifetimes is your issue of abandonment. What? We found it. We found it. Oh, my. We found it. Look, look, look. The perfect parents for him. Oh, let me look. Oh, great. Yeah, thank you. Thank Such you. Another match made heaven. <laughs> <laughs> we start them small. <laughs> now, this is going to be great. What we're going to do is put you back into a new baby body so that you can try again. Uh, do I get a clean slate? <laughs> no, you clean your own slate. Just focus on your mission. Uh, what was that again? Abandonment. Okay, now look, okay? This is your mother. Alright. Wow. This is actually kind of cute. Right, hang on, hang on. <laughs> this, this is your mother. <laughs> She's still cute. <laughs> is she nice? Oh, she's lovely. And she's going to do everything that she can to help you. <laughs> <laughs> this is your father. Yeah. <laughs> 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 he's one of our favorites up here. Yeah. <laughs> they haven't met yet, but they're going to soon. All right. Yeah, man, he's pretty cool. I like his vibe, man. <laughs> you know what, though? He looks really familiar. Have I been with him before? Have I seen him before? Oh, yeah. You two have had lots of lifetimes together. He's going to help stabilize you. All right. I can do this. <laughs> <laughs> Wait a minute. Uh, my mom's white. And my dad's black. Does this mean I'm gonna be a biracial baby? Mixed race? Uh, I mean, I guess that's cool. Yeah, yeah, that can be cool. Wait, is that cool? <laughs> The world, it's rapidly moving into one culture. By the time that your children are born, this won't even be an issue. But at the time that you're being born, ah, uh, well, there's still some cultural differences. So, you'll get to know your mother's family, you know, get to know your father's family. <laughs> but I won't feel a part, really, of either. Yep, there are many ways to heal an issue. This is one way that you can heal your issue of abandonment. See, both of your families are going to love you, really love you, but you won't really feel like you belong to your mother's history. You won't feel like you belong to your father's history. Uh, yep. That sounds like abandonment for sure. <laughs> <laughs> Don't you remember your plan for this last lifetime? You were going to lose your mother early. And that would force you into bonding with a mate. Remember? Now, how did that work out? Yeah, remember? How did that work out? <laughs> you never bonded! <laughs> Alright, now this <laughs> one. <laughs> this time, because 
you don't really feel that you belong to either family history, that's going to force you to create your own family. It's going to be your own sense of self. You will soon realize that you belong to the universal family of man. And you'll be healed. Well, I mean, that doesn't sound so hard. Well, it's a lot gentler than you would have planned. <laughs> this time, you don't have to lose a parent. Okay, but let me get this straight. So does this mean every biracial baby is dealing with abandonment issues? No, this one is just for you. <laughs> you would... You... <laughs> you would be surprised on how many people already know that they are part of a universal family of men. Mm -hmm. So, say goodbye to your parents. You'll be seeing them soon. Well, Dad, Pops, old man. <laughs> I really like you already, man. I can tell it's going to be fun. I love you. Mom, I still think you're pretty cute. <laughs> but I hope you love me. All right. Well, this sounds like a pretty simple plan. Almost too simple. <laughs> like, I don't feel like my plan last life was that bad. I lost my mother at a young age. My dad didn't care what I did. I just did whatever I wanted. Your dad didn't know what to do with you. <laughs> but look, remember your plan? Your plan was that you would find a soulmate early. Okay, you would lose your mom early, and that would force you to bond with a soulmate. Remember? Yeah. What happened with that? <laughs> remember Amanda Sinclair. Yeah, I remember Amanda. We had a lot of good times, me and her. <laughs> yeah, but dude, man, come on, she put up with a lot from you. Yeah, yeah. But there was this one moment, that one clear moment, mm -hmm. when she realized. Mm -hmm that you weren't going to leave your reckless path. Remember? Please! 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 Don't do this anymore! Please! For me! Please! I don't want to take those stupid chances anymore! Don't do it! For me! Please! 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 Did you remember what you did? You laughed! And then you took another crazy risk. Did you even notice you never saw her again? I mean, yeah, I noticed. But you didn't care enough to realize what was happening. You were losing yourself. You had no one. Complete abandonment. And you just didn't matter. What's going to happen to her? Well, we implemented plan B as soon as you broke <laughs> Plan B? What, she gets a plan B? Yeah, I mean, she didn't want one, but yeah, we created it for her. Rise? It's me, honey. Honey, I'm here. It's me. Yes. <laughs> plan B? Where was my plan B? Man, you wouldn't have it any other way. <laughs> oh, my God. Look, look. This, this was your turning point, too. Do you hear me? This was your turning point, too. <laughs> At that moment, you gave up on love. Your plan was over. But look, okay, it's time to learn, okay? Um, hello, hello? Uh, can we have a teaching angel, please? Yeah, I'm coming. Ooh, I'm coming. <laughs> Earth. 
okay? Now your mother's energy, she'll be here. And this is gonna feed you. Your father is gonna be right here, okay? Now this line right here, this line represents you coming into adulthood. You know, waking up we like to say. So the plan that your angels have in place for you is way up here. <laughs> do you see the ease and light here? Mm, yeah. So all you need to do is grow straight up <laughs> and you'll reach your plan effortlessly. <laughs> and you'll achieve your goal very easily. <laughs> now, what is your goal? Uh, I, they say I need to work on abandonment. Oh yeah, that's a common goal. A lot of people are feeling isolated and unsupported. See, I never felt like I felt like that. <laughs> I just thought I was having fun. Well, let me show you what you did last time, okay? Your mother's energy was lost, and the plan was right here. But because you didn't feel close to anyone, you became dispendable. So you started creating these challenges. Challenges? Wait. You don't create the challenges? No, no, we only create opportunities. <laughs> you create the challenges. Really? Really. So pay attention. Every time you get into a self-will state, you start creating these spaces. You know, these, these challenges. And they block you from the plan. No, eventually, the only relationship you developed was one with risk. So you cut ties with everyone else because you couldn't find your own value. Well, when you put it that way, it actually kind of sounds really sad. Yeah, it is pretty sad. Mm -hmm. So this time, don't create these distractions and just focus on love. Love. Huh. Yeah. The only problem with love is, though, I feel like I really only know how to love myself. Really, Raven. Really. How are you feeling right now? And now I'm like, uh, light, free, happy. And how do you feel mm, when you're loving yourself? Like a drive. Like I, got, I just gotta get up and do something. Look, like I gotta do something to be somebody. When you feel that, you're running away from yourself. That's not love. You're not loving yourself. This light, warm feeling that you feel now, just be with me, okay? This light, warm feeling that you feel right now, this is love. It connects us all. Look for that feeling when you get back down there. Look for that feeling. Okay, I'll try. Okay, you want to look at your new life now? Okay. So, you're going to have a new mom, and you're not going to get into these distractions, you see? So, you see how simple this can be? If you just focus, you'll make it. Wait a second. <laughs> you're not going to make me one of those nerdy computer types <laughs> that just likes to read all the time, are you? <laughs> hey, we cannot make you what you are not. <laughs> really? <clears throat> huh. You know what that? That means I can play sports then. Because that's who I am. And you know, I know what I'm going to do this time. I'm going to play extreme sports. <laughs> <laughs> no, 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 wait. Just hear me out. I'll only play until I'm like 16. Actually, truthfully, probably 18. <laughs> I mean, if I'm being really honest with everybody, it's going to be till 21, but I swear I'll stop when I hit 21. Okay. No. 16, 18, 21. No challenges. No. No extreme sports. <laughs> Not even for a little while. Did you remember what you said when you planned your last lifetime? We tried to talk you out of it, remember? <sighs> I guarantee you this will work. <laughs> but if it doesn't, I'll do it your way next time. God, I was dumb. <laughs> Our way? This is next time. No dangerous sports. 
Little League? <laughs> well, if you cannot play sports, if you're not gonna be that superstar, what? <laughs> we might let you play. I am a superstar! <laughs> 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 If you can play and not be the best on the team, okay, and you can be a supportive role, okay, can you do that and not be a hot shot? <sighs> I mean, I can try. <laughs> <laughs> Don't worry. We will be with you. Just look for the love. Oh, this is going to be a really fun lifetime. And you'll have both of your parents, and you'll finally know what it's like to bond and belong. So, I'm going to go down there, and I'm going to meet the universal family. Mm -hmm. I'm going to be part of the family of man. Mm -hmm. But, my question, will this man ever find love? Find your place, and you'll find her. But not Amanda. No. She'll be too old. <laughs> <laughs> but, but, but we do have somebody else in mind. Don't worry. Well, I guess thanks for coming, Teach. You're welcome. <laughs> it's really simple. You yes. can do it. I'm glad you think so. <laughs> okay, I'm on to my next life plan. All right. Take care. Focus on love. Thanks. <laughs> <laughs> well, seriously, I do have to thank you. You guys always have my back, and I appreciate that. And you know what? It might be okay to do it the easy way this time. <laughs> I promise you, I will enjoy it. <laughs> well, you better warm up the folks, because I'm ready to go in. Alright, well, let's go. Oh. Hey, you guys think I could have my mom's eye color and my dad's skin color? Maybe, Because that would be awesome. <laughs> Trent Oglesby. I have it on good authority he's going to find his way this time around. And just remember, if you ever find yourself faced with a challenge that you don't quite know how to handle, just stop and ask your angels to help you find the easy way through. Because there's always an easy way to deal with your karma. Just look for the love, and your next life review can be delightful. <laughs>